So today I will be showing you my art collection, art materials collection, not art collection. So um, it's been a while since um, we I've uploaded any video. So I hope that you'll find this one entertaining. And let's get started. So mainly um, we are going to dive into the things that are found in my trolley. So this is my trolley. see all my stuff there uh, before we get started please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button in order to be notified basically how I organize my trolley it has three layers the first one are all my um, pencils my brushes um, all the tall tall things that I could not fit in the second and the third layer but my second layer are all watercolor palettes and my third layer are all acrylics and everything else Alright, so how am I going to show you what I got? I think this would be okay. That's alright. So first off, we are going to begin with the first layer, which is mostly um, my pens and brushes. I have, um, first off, uh, paper towels that I need when things get um, dirty and I need to wipe off. Uh, my brushes. Um, I have my brush cleaner with me. This one. I think you've seen this in my IG story that I use this to clean my brushes, especially those that are um, that I use for acrylic and oil. Helps clean it and makes my brush um, feel like it's brand new. So this is very good. Um, I will link it down below where you can buy this brush cleaner. That I keep as inspiration. Multitude of pens, uh, uni pin, you not uni pins, uni paint marker. It marks on anything, and this is I think oil based. Super nice. If you have any of these, you can use it for lettering. Um, you can use it on different surfaces. So that's why I have this. My um, black ink pens, which are which only this one is left. I don't know where the others are. Is it here? Or maybe I left it in the office, but I have this one. It's a thin line. Thin line. And then we have this one. This floral pen holder, which I got from, which my mom got me from Fab Manila. And here contains all my go-to brushes. And then for my watercolor brushes, I have quite a lot. So these are not the only ones that I have, um, but they are my most used ones. So I think they, these are the ones that I want to share with you. So my most precious one is my Escada Optimo brush. There you go. Very pretty. And this is what I bring to travel because you can cap it. so convenient this one is really new this one is a Windsor and Newton professional watercolor sable round brush and this was given to me by a friend in the UK and I super love it look at how gorgeous the body is it's lit. it's thinner here in the middle and goes thicker again okay. these are the brushes that I bought in fully booked I think I've discussed this. I've discussed this in my previous video, um, watercolor for beginners, which I will um, put in below or maybe here, somewhere here. I don't know how they do that. Here, um, this comes in a set of three, so twelve, size twelve, size twelve, size eight, and size four. So it's a good all-around brush. Nice for washes, for just basic painting, even for detailing. I also have several Escada brushes. Um, Escada gave them to me before, like way, way, way back when I started. And I'm super duper thankful for that because these are high quality, high quality brushes. I have this one, the Perla. Escada Perla. Beautiful. Um, versatile. Versatile, it's got a versatile. 
and this one which um the name has been removed because i use it so much but this is the reserva escoda reserva really beautiful so now we go to uh, to my pencils and in instagram whenever i post my my drawing whether it be a time lapse or even just a painting a finished painting people will ask what kind of pencil do i use and this is my answer i am using pilot color eno this one the one you see that looks red or pink in my artworks it's because of this so you can find this well for the ones that live in the philippines you can find this at sm stationery or even in national bookstore very easy to find they also come with a refill so i have two of those other colors like this pink one i want the pink and i have a violet one and there is one here that's not pilot but it's a uni color and it's 0 0.5 but it's a blue and this is the i bought this in japan this is the lead for the the refill for the pilot you know looks like this so if you open that up oh, I think I'm, there you go it's red so these are my most used pencils i like using them and people ask me if it makes any difference. Um, well, it makes me happy to see red pencil marks on my work. So that's why I use it. But it doesn't really, I mean, it doesn't contribute to the overall um, artwork. So if you, if you don't have any colored pencilette, that's fine. You can use just any regular pencils like, you know, Mongol. I also have this one which um, people usually ask me about. Uh, they, this is the Uniball Signal Broad. They're used for making white highlights on artworks. So this is also very nice. This is opaque, so you can use it on top of your artwork. That's the first layer. Putting that back here. Ugh. So we are now in the second um, second level of my trolley. So let me just put all of the stuff that I have here. So first off, what do I have? I have my Faber Castell solid watercolor. Um, I have this one, which is a, also a gift to me. This is the White Knights paint. There you go. Oh, where is the mixing palette oh there it is this is the mixing palette so i just don't put them here because the paint gets sticky and it usually when i open it up it sticks to the mixing palette that's why i remove the mixing palette but i think it's safe to put it back now so there you go this is the white knights uh watercolor paints which was also a gift to me this is one of my Windsor & Newton um, palette. I have two. So this one is the one with the tube, so it's professional grade. And I tried not to use the mixing area here because it's metal and it stains. But clearly, I failed. I, I've already used it. But this is a very, very nice palette. And inside it actually contains Two, um, two of the Prima paints that I swapped out. Mm. And then here I also have this one. This is from Christine of London Gifties. So she sent this to me and I'm super duper thankful. So let me open it up. Ta -da! Oh, some of the Prima paints are also inside because again, I'm using the paints um, from London Gifties in my Prima palette, which I'm using in the office when I want to sketch. So that's why they're a little mixed up. These are nice. So it's look it's super handy. It's a water soluble um, graphite, watercolor graphite, and 
I like this one because if there are some days you just want to use black and white or make your work look like it's charcoal, this is a good one. I bought this from Artwheel. Pram. So this is also a good. So you know I raved about Prang a lot and I have several videos that I highlighted Prang be being a good beginner watercolor set. Custom foldable palette. So these are all custom paints that I use. And I created a video about uh, me pouring paints on these on this new palette. So I'm gonna link it down below if you wanna watch that. If you want to know what kind of colors that I mostly use for my floral works, it's this one. Open this box. These are all my paint tubes. Contain all my watercolor paint tubes. Go. So these are, I would say, my favorite colors. Yellow ochre, Holbein. Paints gray, Holbein. Ochre's green, which is Sennelier. Um, Rose Matter Lake, Sennelier. And Crimson Lake, Holbein. So most of these um, paints here are Holbein, Sennelier. And I have some Sminka as well. Here. What else? Here I have my super fave Windsor and Newton 24. I think this is 24 pan set. And I bought this in the UK. I went to London just to get this one because it was on sale. So super love it. And you can see how how much I've used this palette. It's not watercolor, but it's gouache. So this is the Hini 18 color gouache. So they're like, um, the gouache is in jelly cups. And uh, if I open it, I'll uh, open this, you can dry here. And this is the uh, mixing palette that comes with it. Um, I have this one for the gold, the Gansai Tambi. Very nice. Okay. Now we're down to the last layer. Alright. So as I said, the last layer of my art trolley are just acrylic paints, um, Angelus leather paints, which I use for painting bags and um, leather surfaces like um, your shoes. So these are nice ones. I got them in Art Bar when they were on sale. And most importantly, you have your acrylic finisher which serves as a seal for all the acrylic leather painting that you're gonna do. Container filled with acrylic paints and also um, acryl gouache. So, no, so as you know, I'm a big fan of Turner acryl gouache. So that's this one. Very nice, very creamy and very easy to use. So many of these I got in Japan. You can see that I got them in Tokyo hands. You can find this. I think it's also a bit, it's also cheaper in Tokyo hands. Some stuff that are a bit different. I think um, Turner Paint sent this to me many, many years ago. I have this one, the Lame Color. So I have this one, which is the Color Pearl Turner Paints Acryl Wash. So this one has a more like metallic sheen to it. So have just acrylic, like plain, plain acrylic paints. This one I use. This is from Focus Paints. So they were kind enough to um, give them to me and I actually like them and you have used them a lot of times. So they are Perma Paint Acrylic. So these are just solid, plain acrylic colors. And lastly, I have another container here. 
but these are for oil painting. So I use um, water mixable oil color. So none of the real oil paint stuff that you need turpentine, you need linseed oil. Um, I wanted it to be as convenient as possible. So this paint, I will only use water for mixing and for cleaning my brush. Ah, that's it. I am done. Done explaining all my um, paints and stuff in my art trolley. So um, I have another container, here. Oh, not a container, but a shelf here and it's all my papers but um, I won't show you that anymore because you know what kind of papers I use. I usually um, say it in my Instagram what kind of papers I use and I hope that um, you find this entertaining and interesting and also informative. So you don't need to have a lot of art materials and these materials that I have have been accumulated for a long long time. They were gifts from my friends, from my families because they know that I like to paint, I like art and when I get a really good like art commissions or art projects, one of the things that I told myself is that I'm gonna reward my hobby, my passion and I get to buy one new brush, one new paint that I really like, one new paint set. So that's how I see myself, like motivating myself to keep on pursuing um, this hobby of mine, this, this passion, this painting thing that I'm doing. I hope that this um, also motivates you to work hard, to um, when you do something for your art, you also give it back to yourself. So that's that's it. I think that's all that I can say. And have a nice weekend, everyone. And I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.